One of the hardest things about learning the bassoon for the first time is learning how to make a bassoon embouchure. This is why I've created a simple three-step process that not only teaches you how to make a bassoon embouchure, but it's easy to remember down the road. The first step to making a bassoon embouchure is to make a whistling face, and even if you don't know how to whistle, just pretend. What the whistling face does is it brings your lips forward and it creates a nice round cushion for your reed to be supported by, kind of like the top of a drawstring bag. The second step to creating a bassoon embouchure is while you are making that whistling face, take your finger and roll your bottom lip just slightly over your bottom teeth, like this. You can think of the bottom lip as the primary support for the reed and the top lip is just simply covering the reed. The third and final step to creating a bassoon embouchure is to create an overbite. And that just means that you'll put your top lip slightly in front of your bottom lip as if you were looking at it from the side. The top lip should be somewhere around two thirds of the way up the reed. Depending on your jaw and your facial structure, an overbite for the bassoon embouchure might feel a little bit awkward and uncomfortable. And so that's why you wanna be using a mirror or you wanna have someone take a picture of you just to make sure that you are using the correct embouchure and everything's in the right spot. One of the most common bad habits with bassoon embouchure is for students to bite or pinch the reed, and this often creates a really harsh and brittle sound. And more often than not, if you check the pitch with the tuner, the student will be sharp. Usually this happens because the student is trying to control the reed, so they feel like they have to pinch with their mouth rather than support with their air. So what I encourage students to do is focus on your air support as being the primary director of your sound. Make sure you're using enough air to blow and think of your air as the the primary thing that controls the sound and your your embouchure is just creating a seal around the reed. Sometimes this bad habit is caused because students are playing on poor quality reeds. Ideally, you should be buying reeds from a real bassoonist, someone who knows what they're doing with reeds. Another common bad habit that happens is as students learn more things on the bassoon, they learn more fingerings, they start playing for longer, they start to forget certain things about their embouchure. It's really important every time you start playing the bassoon that you go through the three-step process. Make the whistling face, lower lip over bottom teeth, and make sure you have an overbite. If you are checking those three things off the box, you should be set to go with your embouchure. Learning the bassoon embouchure does not happen overnight. Just like when you first start learning a sport, it takes a long time for your muscles to build up strength and endurance to be able to do it well. Same thing with your lips. Your lips and your mouth need to build up endurance and strength to be able to play with a good embouchure. It takes weeks and sometimes months of regular thoughtful practice to really build the bassoon embouchure and make it become like second nature. But if you're putting in the effort now and you're being really thoughtful about how you're practicing, it will pay off later when you're able to do more advanced things on the bassoon and your embouchure is working for you and not against you. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was, I ask that you hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can continue getting information about learning the bassoon. And please let me know down in the comments, what is the hardest thing about learning the embouchure for you? And what other things are you struggling with? I would love to know because I wanna be able to help you out in the future.